Hey, hey, everyone, how's it going? Hers Quasar here. Welcome back to Barn Bargains and Other Cheap Challenges. Uh, I guess you're asking yourself, what the heck is Hearst doing in a junkyard? Well, um, I've been out looking for pieces and parts and everything else, and I've really gotten myself to a point where I'm very tired of looking in all these junk piles. So... I was able to find a couple of cars I could strip down and then still make a little bit of money off of. So that's what I'm... Oh, what's this? Uh, that's what I'm in here doing right now is to find out... It is a buy price of 9.5 and a sell price of 11.19. And what does it have in it? Um, It's got... Um, it might have some pieces to it I could use on the other Roadster. I'm not sure. Um, but it's definitely going to make me a little bit of cash. So I'm going to go ahead and buy this one. Um, I'll go ahead and throw that in the garage. And what was this one over here? Is another hot rod. Um, what are you? Eight grand. Value at seven grand. Not even worth it to me. Uh, we have ourselves a Skyline. Uh, ooh, nine eight worth eleven. So we're going to buy that. Um, I don't have any room at the garage, but I'm going to put it in the car parking. Because that's just going to be a cash cow for me. That is just going to be, I'm flipping it just for the sake of gaining some cash off of that one. Um, got a race car here. What do we got here? Uh, buy it for 13. It's only worth 11. So yeah, no, I'd be losing my butt on that one. So yeah, that's not going to happen. So yeah, and every once in a while I'll take a look inside one of these junk piles and just see if I can find anything. So far, nothing. Oh, what's this? Oh, um, Adam Renton. Um, buy for six, sell for seven? Um, that's an easy k 1k. Let's see if we have anything else over here. Oh, what do we have over here? Mustang. <laughs> You'll be glad. Oh, I got out of the car over there. Okay, so what do we got for the Mustang? Uh, four... Nope, nope, nope. Four two, so for four three. Nope. Um, and then we have the Audi RS six. Uh, where's ooh? Look at that. Uh, buy price for seventeen. What is, what's in here? Anything? Ooh. Um, I could probably use some of these pieces and throw it in my. All right. So we're gonna buy that car as well. Yep. All right. So let's go back to the garage, shall we? All right, so here's our garage. We've got our bolt reptilia, which, oh, wow, wow, tripped, what did I trip over? Um, which is almost done. I've got a few pieces left to do, and then we have our roadster right here. This is going to be our trash-to-track car. And uh, let's see, what do we have in this bad boy here? Uh, this, let's see here, what do we have? Uh, doesn't look like a whole lot available on this engine that's going to be worthwhile but we'll take a look here real quick the fans in decent shape okay all right so we could actually uh, I want to take some pieces off of this what size wheels and everything are on here uh, where is my stats uh, our 14s on the front 15s on the back I like those. Oh, those are really bad on that side, so it's not going to really help me out. So let's um, let's see here. I'm going to start taking some of this apart. Four barrel carb. Okay, we're good with that. Um, fan. Thirty-three percent. That's good. Uh, we have a belt at thirty-four percent. Another belt at 30%. What's the supercharger at? This is what I'm curious of. 23%. So, okay. Uh, intake. We'll go ahead and grab the intake off here, too. 25%. Cool. Uh, wires. Ooh, 9% for the wires. The wires are, wires are trash. Uh, but we have some push rods. 30%. They look like they're in decent shape. Ooh, that one's at 8%, so we're not going to take that one. 12%, nope. 14%, uh, nope. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and add those back in. I'm not going to use them. There we go. No, 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 I didn't want that one to go in there. I wanted to keep that one. Okay. So you see what I'm doing, right? I'm stripping parts out of here that I can use and or repair. Um, and then... Let's see. What do we got over here? Anything? Yeah. Uh, wish rods 26%. Okay. 21%. Okay. Uh, oh, we got some spark plugs. 29%. 25%. We could always use spark plugs, that's for sure. 24%, 27%. Um, so what I'm going to do is take as many parts off here as possible and then still stick, still have... Ooh, yeah, that one wasn't going to go in there. We'll put that back in there. All right. Uh, all right, so what is our cell value at right now? 100, okay. So I've taken some parts off. I'm still making 200 bucks, 200 bucks on the car, right? Sold. <laughs> so let's go ahead and put these parts in the storage. This is all engine. Well, wait a minute. Um, um, that, nope, but shoot. That's not what I wanted to do. Okay. Uh, engines and exhaust. So, well, a spark plug should have went into electronics. You know what I mean? So, let's go back in here. Alright, um, electronics. See, I've been, I've been collecting things off and on off of vehicles, and, um, lo and behold, five credits for that yep all right look at this i'm down to 189 or 186,000 credits hit 186,000 credits all right that's because we bought all these cars so let's go to my the audi let's uh move that to the garage and i think instead of taking anything off this car i think i'm just going to go full out sell um yeah so let's go ahead and sell that car we're back up to 209 and then we will what's the other parking what's the other the nissan skyline yes the skyline was definitely going to be a sell point for me because there was really nothing on here that i wanted anyway um, it's missing two of the wheels and tires, nothing I wanted to do with it, so yeah. It's going to be a full-on sale. So, eleven ninety-five on that. Yes. Alright, now we've made a few extra bucks. We're up to $220. Um, what do we have? Uh, I think I have some notes here. I've got a brake servo, a starter, two leaf springs. That's actually two an engine cover so let's head off here we should have all these parts um, suspension and brakes we need a brake servo we'll take this lowest one um, you you bolts I need two of these so let's take the 18 and the okay we'll take the 25 uh, need engines and exhaust I need Ooh, which one did I need? Um, <laughs> which one did I need? B. Okay. So I need B engine cover. Is that B? B engine cover. Okay. And I needed a um, electronics. I needed a starter. Start, starter V8. Okay. Now, if I can repair these without screwing anything up, I'll be happy. Go. Oh, oh, I got lucky on that one.
All right, all those parts got repaired. Down to 220. The boat reptilia, reptilia is going to be a sale item, definitely. I'm trying to make some profit off these things. I'm running a little low on cash. I hate being underneath 200k. Okay, so we have that. Brake servo is in place, right? Um, what else did I need? Uh, brake servo. Oh, I need the starter and those two U-bolts. So while I got this bad boy here, let's go ahead and fill up with the fluids. And I need to paint it. Now, the parts are going to cost me 200 to paint. Uh, so I'm going to have to paint the parts separately, I believe. So this, this bull reptilia has taken me a long time to get built because I'm just trying to find the parts. And that's why I started getting really tired of rummaging through all those parts areas. So I just started buying used cars, like just like what I did there. You buy them from the junkyard, that is cheap. And you can make a little bit of profit on it. And then you take some of the parts off it that you need it and you try to equalize that out. So if you sell it for a couple of hundred bucks, you've still made out and you've you've gotten some parts in the process, right? So yeah, that's the way I look at it. Uh, I think those are all the fluids, right? Break. Um no, oil. Uh, I'm missing the Oh. Oh no, I'm missing more than Okay, hang on. Uh, remember, we did paint the rear end on this, just for a little added touch. Okay, and uh, we needed a drive shaft. We need, I think I have a drive shaft. Okay, so I need a drive shaft as well. Now, I know I have... Oh my god, what do I need here? That's right, I need a rod cap and a drive shaft. Okay. I believe I have those parts. So I don't think that's gonna be a big deal. Uh, electronics, nope. I want engines and exhaust. Rod cap, let's get this uh, 39, 31, let's get the lowest one. Uh, then we have the bolt reptilia. That's the oil pan. Boom, boom. And I need a let's see drive shaft. Ooh, drive shaft. I don't have a drive shaft. Is a drive shaft repairable though? I don't know. Um, damn. I guess I'm gonna find out. I may have to rob Peter to pay Paul here because I am so close to getting that thing sold. What is the value on this drive shaft? We are going to find out. Looks like it's gonna be 16%, so just barely making it over the what we need it for. So yeah. We're going to take that drive shaft off and we're going to use it in here. Whew. Yeah, that was kind of scary. All right. Well, thanks, Hot Rod. <laughs> um, you've got this. This baby should be complete. There we go. And... And we'll get underneath the engine here. Man, I can't believe I forgot about that piece. I told you I was I was stripping things off right and left trying to. Okay, so let me see here. Are we 100% across the board parts? 99%. What am I missing here? Fuel pump. Crap.
Okay, fuel pump. I think I have a fuel pump. I think I saw one. So, it would be under engines, I believe. Fuel pump. Oh, oh gosh, I am so lucky. Let's see if this... Yep, it's a repairable item. Yep, okay, good. I was going to say, if it wasn't repairable, I'd just buy one. Alright, so a stock fuel pump. It is. Now... We should be 100% across the board, are we? Yes, I believe we are. So wheat. All right, all the fluids are in it. Let's go ahead and put this hot rod down. Safety first. All right, so yeah, I could paint the car. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. We're going to send it to the paint booth, right? And we are going to figure out the color. Current color, factory color. Okay. But I got... Yeah, okay, so it's going to be the second one. Right on, right on. Okay. I'm going to take the headlights off. And then... Can't paint it with parts. Let's send you over to test pass. And then what I'm going to do is we'll hop right back over here. Paint these headlight covers for 200 bucks, right? I'll paint for 100 bucks. All right. Bolt Reptilia is underway. It is done. All right. <clears throat> kind of a beautiful looking car right there. Let's get this front end aligned. Tricky, all the wheels aligned. It used to be just a front end alignment, now it's like a, a full wheel alignment. And let's take care of the headlights now that we have them reinstalled. Uh, there we go. Alright, so that's all done. I don't think we need to actually give her the dyno because it will be um, the 269. So sweet. All right, one sweet ride we have. Nice, and she is going to be gone, right? <laughs> All right, let's take a quick picture of her for prosperity's sake. Yeah. Actually, let's get, uh, where it is? Where's my photo mode? There we go. Go ahead and take a quick picture of this bad boy. Nope, not like that. Jeez. Um, height. A darker. Field of view. Yeah. That's all good. Kind of slow at it, but that's okay. All right, we are good with that. I think we are ready to sell her. Sell her for sixty-seven thousand. Look at that. Hoo hoo. It's a nice ride. All right, she is out of here. So now we're up to two hundred eighty-seven thousand dollars, and we have a rot rotting uh, piece of machinery here. That's going to need some definite, some some serious work. Um, what I need to do is tear it apart and find out just how bad we are with the engine. And then sell off all the parts that we don't need. So we're going to tear the engine down first. I don't think it has an oil pan. I don't think it... Oh, supercharger is done. Good thing I picked up that supercharger off the other one. 
intake is done. Okay, so this is going to be tough. This is what we're going to end up doing. We're going to strip her all the way down. Let's see what we have here. Hopefully I can use the block. The block looks like it's in rough shape. So I may not be able to even use the block. Okay, the heads are good. Okay. Power steering. Power steering's in good shape. Water pulley. Okay, that's good. That's good. Uh, yeah, nobody knows yet. Ooh, 13%. So that's not a... So anything that's red, I'm just going to go ahead and sell off. We'll see what the block looks like. Uh, distributor. Okay, that's cool. That's good. That's all good in there. How is our chain? 32% uh, good. Cam gear good. Camshaft isn't all that great, but can use it. Alright, let's see what we have over here. Oh man. All right, uh, holy cow. All right, uh, pistons are coming out. Looks like the rings are shot, but the pistons are okay. No, no conrod caps, which is kind of sucks. All right, um, we gotta put her up on the lift here. Look, like she's in pretty sad shape. I don't know if I'm going to be able to find body parts for this thing. So for the trash to track, I want it to be complete as much as possible as far as the body and everything. Because I am taking it out on the track. Um, although I did take the bron Bronco out, and it wasn't <laughs> it wasn't complete. So yeah. All right. Time to see what this engine block is. This is the moment of truth right here. Fourteen percent. I was afraid of that. So our block is even in bad shape. Okay, so the crank is in bad shape. The block is in bad shape. All right, let's see if we have a block. <sighs> okay. Um, we do have the supercharger, so we got some pretty good pieces here. Um, let's see, sort by name. Hmm. I do have some. De what is that in here? Get rid of that. Can't use it. It's an engine block overhead valve. Okay, okay, here we go. Um, so I have three of them. Um, for the track. I think I'm going to go ahead and use the 19% one. Yep, let's go ahead and do that. So what I'm going to end up doing here is I'm going to put the block in there. Right? 19% <laughs> block. That looks totally awful. Um, let's get rid of that. Um, I should have looked for a crankshaft. Uh, crankshaft, crankshaft, I got a couple of them, 60s, um, okay, I'll go with this one, just to make it as, as girthy as possible here, uh, okay, oh, from under the car, yes, from under the car, what was the transmission? Wait, wait a minute, let's see. Oh, that's engine. Okay, get rid of that because we're not going to use that at all. Um, crankshaft, we're going to get rid of that. Alright. 
Alrighty, uh, flywheel. It's in pretty good shape, right? Clutch plate, decent. Pressure plate uh, is not in good shape, so that's not good. It's open to at least get this to run. Uh, power strength pump. Yep, we're good. <clears throat> I do not have a fuel filter. Piston rings and... Okay, this is going to be tricky here. Alright, sorry about that. Um... Okay, head. 29%. Okay, we're good. We have one bank. Whew. All right. Uh, camshaft was good. Cam gear was good. Uh, timing chain. All right. Tammy chain cover was in decent shape. We're gonna put, like I said, we're gonna put all these parts back on that were in good, great shape, so we can clear our inventory a little bit. Water pump was in horrible shape. Distributor. Do we have a cap? No, we do not have a cap. Okay, let's go to this side. Uh, alternator. Yes. Okay, so right now I'm out four pistons. So I need I need four pistons. Um, do I have any pistons? Okay. One, two, three. We're gonna take the three lowest ones. Now this is a supercharged engine. It should be able to handle it. I'm going to need a set of rings. Yep. Wait a minute. Where's my other... Wait a minute. That's not right. I thought I had picked up three, right? So I'm going to have to pick up another piston and a set of rings over here. Woohoo! Alright, uh, piston, piston. Pick up piston, pick up set of rings. Oil filter, I know I'm going to need. Uh, what else was I going to need in here? Wires. Go ahead and pick up wires. Fuel filter, a couple of the headers. All right. So little by little, I'm gonna I'm picking this thing up. Just put the headers on. Uh, uh, that's under the car. Heads. So, so far, it looks like I've got most of the pieces for everything, at least for the engine. I don't know if I have the exhaust and everything else, but we will be tearing into this more and more now that we know we have the basics going on. Anything can be 15%. So, that's what we have to look for. Fuel filter, we're good to go. All right, let me back out of here. I'm going to take a look at some of the parts I have. Oh, that's not even. It's not even a thing. Um, gearbox, shot pistons, or shot rings, or shot. We're getting rid of everything and every anything and everything that's shot. So.
So we'll go ahead and get as many of these in as possible. Let's see here. I'm going to clear my inventory out of what I have on me before I decide to go into the warehouse. And I think we are going to, this is going to be the end of it for right now for today because we have been busy, busy, busy. I mean, I mean, come on. Uh, yeah, we'll put this all back in the, <laughs> we'll put this all back in the warehouse and then uh, we will take, take it back up next time. Piston, piston, yep, yeah, there we go. Nothing in my inventory, right. And let's go ahead and clear out my notes. All right, so thanks for hanging with me. I hope you enjoyed the episode. We're going to build this thing little by little. And oh, before we get too crazy, our garage find, our barn find. We're going to bring her in, this little Lotus, and uh, we'll get to work on this eventually. Get to see what the engine, the engine doesn't look like it's in too bad a shape. This is just a complete teardown and uh, rebuild back to stock, and then uh, we'll sell it. So right now, what's her, what's she worth? She's worth uh, 23. So when I picked it up, I, it was an automatic two grand. So hey hey, that was cool. All right, uh, that's going to be it for right now. Until the next time, everyone. Thanks for hanging with me. It's Sir Quasar saying good night, everyone, and I am out.